Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on the Isle of Siptar, in map square N7, building a Daketo Cathedral. This build will use mods heavily in the decoration, and you can see the full list of mods and the load order I use in the pinned comment below. I'm also currently running a poll on my community page to decide which of my first builds for Conan I should rebuild in the coming weeks, so be sure to drop a vote on that, and if everyone likes it I might do the same for some of my really old art content. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% of a two-year deal plus a month free when you visit nordvpn.org slash eredyt or use code eredyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to protect yourself on the internet with NordVPN. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get into things properly, as you've probably already seen, this is indeed a speed build. This build turned out to be pretty large in size, which was what I was aiming for, and took, I think, just over an hour to build, so I'll be putting it into the usual speed build format so it's a bit easier for you guys to enjoy. As usual, I'll be talking about my inspirations and ideas when constructing this build, along with any difficulties or things I'd like to improve in retrospect, and then after that I'll let the rest of the construction phase roll and I'll return for the furnishing phase. So, I started this build without any real idea of what I wanted to build, other than the fact that I wanted to build something large. With all the flat open ground there is on Siptar, I have admittedly criminally underutilised these large locations, and I haven't taken proper advantage of all the large builds I could create, so today we are doing just that. I started off by, as you can see, making a huge base plate with regular circular foundation formations, aiming to create a large symmetrical but non-traditional base plate for the build that would serve to make an extremely roomy interior, but also allow me to integrate more unique shapes such as towers and buttresses onto the cathedral to help break up the monotony of the exterior walls, add some extra depth and to make the build feel and look much more sturdy. In terms of material palette, I Debated over a few different materials, but in the end I decided to use a mix of black and white tones rather than black and gold, as even though black and gold are indeed the colours of Diketto, I was aware that this might end up looking extremely monotonous in a large build like this in terms of colour at least. Therefore, by combining white Argosian and black storm glass, the clear colour and tonal contrast helps to really break up the build and make it feel far less monotonous. It also helps to give the build a bit more character as the cathedral can look like it was originally a marble structure that is being slowly overtaken by the dark embrace of Diketto. After I'd built up the walls of the cathedral, I decided to build a secondary smaller structure atop the cathedral, and then build up some buttresses with hollow tips made of door frames. These help to give more of a visible barrier to the edges of the balcony atop the cathedral and help to make the build look more stable. They also help to provide some columns that I can later place lighting options inside, to provide some balanced lighting to the balcony area without being too overpowering. My main inspiration for this build was just to create something unique and different, rather than just a box fort or a home. Over the past few weeks I've done a lot of smaller builds, and whilst I do admittedly enjoy those small builds that are, I think, far more practical for most people to actually undertake, sometimes I do have the impulse to go for much larger, grander builds. I'm thinking the next build will also be a large build, maybe a castle or something like that, seeing as it's been a while since I've done anything like that, and then I will probably return to the Exiled Lands to fulfil some more viewer requests, as I am still a bit torn on how I feel about building on the Isle of Siptar. I definitely think the map is great for larger builds, given the huge expanses of relatively flat ground, so I can see myself returning to this map for larger builds in the future. But I think for medium and small size builds, unless you're really careful where you place them, they can often end up feeling a bit swallowed up by the surrounding land. Overall though, the construction of this cathedral was somewhat haphazard in that I didn't really have much of a plan. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out, I think it looks quite visually interesting. I did add storm glass inverted wedges from the roof pieces onto the edges of the cathedral to give it sort of a spiked accent. And whilst it does look good in theory, I think it might make the build look a tad too busy. So if you wanted to recreate this, you could probably get rid of those without too much detriment to the build itself. Anyway, I think that's about all I have to say for this build really. I wanted to go for something quite unique and larger than my usual builds, and I am pretty happy with how this build came out. 
so at this point I will leave you with the rest of the construction phase and I will be back for the furnishing phase.
finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I flit the area with terranium braziers and hanging terranium lamps. The warmer lighting tones really help the gold elements of both Stormglass and Argosian shine a bit brighter and add some opulence to the build. Within the cathedral, I've decorated the build to keep the themes of Decetto present within the structure, including plenty of corpses and skeletons to keep the themes of death and debauchery evident within the build. I've also included some fountains around the back of the shrine, so that visitors can drink and wash themselves under the protection of Decetto. Heading upstairs through one of the towers, we reach the upper balconies, where I've used the hollow tips on the buttresses I mentioned earlier to create lighting columns that give a nice balanced light across the entire balcony without overpowering any other lighting options within the build. Finally, inside the first floor building, this is another area that captures the themes of Decetto, by including themes of death, cannibalism, and, uh, let's say, adult interactions.
And there we have it, a Decato Cathedral on the Isle of Siptar in Map Square N7. Thanks for watching, this build came out quite nicely, and I'm pretty happy with its structure and how it avoids feeling monotonous, and I think this is definitely a good foundation to base future large builds off. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pin comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede and Shannara. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.